Hello YouTube, back again with the third video on a video that I really wanted to do, but you know, hey, I got people to ask me, you know, to do videos from people I work for, so I definitely can't be selfish and do what I want to do, you know, hey, um, it's just the line and nature of the business, you know, but it's just today's video is going to be about more Andy Gede, you know, because it's like Gede is a concept in the, in, in the Western world that most people have a difficult time understanding at least the people I know whatsoever so I figured you know the fact that I, I, I've been to both worlds and I lived in both worlds I could probably make the correspondence for, for, for people in the Western world you know the right correspondence you know because we know there's a lot of people that don't know what they're doing out here so shita uvizoenu pokainu aklimnu you know all right well the good day I can say the Gede are, let's just say, in the Gede are what we would call Grim Reapers in 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 in, in uh, English itself, you know, or uh, in Western culture, we can say that they're they're closely aligned with Grim Reapers because the Gede are all death spirits. Um, they are responsible for claiming the souls of the dead. But if you want to take it deeper, you can say that they are responsible for bringing the, bringing the souls of the dead to the underworld. And you can say that another aspect of them is bringing them, bring him to the judgment bar. So when you start talking about the judgment bar, that's when you start getting into Bawan Lakwa itself, you know, because in Voodoo, Bawan Lakwa is a judge. He is, a, he is the car, he is what you would say the system of karma whatsoever that basically assigns the souls of the dead to their locations itself, you know. Um, from I guess if you even want to take it to the Egyptian level, you know, going back to ancient Egypt, the whole judgment, the whole judgment thing where you have people standing before the judgment of Mayat whatsoever, the way in the feathers, you know, the heart against the feather of truth itself, you know, but that is the aspect which, you know, the Gede serves more of in a sense of the escorts of the dead itself, you know, now the, but now I definitely want to say this, this is where the, the confusion, there's a lot of confusion whatsoever is that who do the go who do the the the, the Gede work for? People say Bawon Samzi, some say Papa Gede. I associate the Gede with Bawon Lakwa. The Gede, the way they appear, you can say that they're big shadows itself. They're not your human outlines itself. At the time, at the moment of death, or at the moment when a person's close to death, dying, that's when the Gede come around. And when the Gede come around, they are what you would say, like I said, a big, a big shadow, you know, go on by, you know, uh, and they are, they are there to basically claim the souls of the person who's a, the soul of the person who's about to die. Now, on the more aspect, you know, now talking about, you know, the more now, the difference between the more and the gay day, they are what you say in the shadow family, but the more are the souls of human beings. Now the more they're closely aligned with Bawon Samzi, we could say that Bawon Samzi is responsible for claiming the souls of the dead or our, our ancestors. He's related to them. They dwell with Bawon Samzi, the ancestors itself. You know, I know there's been so much confusion where they mix the Gede up with Bawon Samzi, but they're two different families itself. You know, Bawon Samzi. He is the gatekeeper of the at the of the ancestors itself. So people who serve Bawon, they are very, they they are people that are connected with the ancestors itself. You know, oh Oya Jaquela, hello. <laughs> but yes, um, the ancestors. When you work with Bawon Samzi, you find that yourself you you, you work we you start to collect with connect with a lot of more a lot of deceased people whatsoever. You start getting very strong on ancestral ties itself, you know? So, um, I definitely say that the Ma are the souls of human beings who passed away, you know? Uh, they passed away. But the Ma can also become bad, or they can also be bad as well. Or, you know, some people that were evil from the get-go, they uh, become what you would say hungry ghost, or they become what you call the... The uh, boogeyman or makut. See, the makut. I know people will be like, "What you mean by makut? What that wasn't that like administration when Papa Francois Duvalier was in power?" Well, let me break this down. 
Well, Francois Duvalier, many say that he was a servant of Bawan Samedi. Now, when you start dealing with Bawan Samedi, you pretty much learn about, you know, the, 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 the boogeyman or what you call the, the maw. You know, and what you find in the maw is the bad spirits that claim to collect the souls of the dead. So what Francois Duvalier did was after the name of the Makut, what you say, the Makut, which means Uncle Natsak or Natsak claiming the souls, he named his administration under, you know, uh, he, he named, you know, his, I would say his, his volunteer, uh, volunteers, the, the Makut whatsoever, you know. So you can see that the Bawan Samzi, you know, the Bawan Samzi aspect was with him. So he basically named it after a group that runs with Bawan Samzi whatsoever. There's been many rumors that Francois Duvalier claimed that he was Bawan Samzi incarnated on earth, but it is what it is, you know. But as far as the, 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 the boogeyman, or what you call the maw, the bad maw, in English, they would be considered as what you call boogeyman or, holy, uh, or hungry ghost itself, you know, because what they do is uh, they, 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 they steal or they take the life force of the living, you know. So when they come around, let's just say the bad ones, their, their, their energy is down. So what happens is you may be standing somewhere whatsoever and all of a sudden you get hit boom and all of a sudden you start having a panic attack or you know you start losing your breath and basically a panic attack is when you lose your breath it is as though something just hit you and when it hits you you just lost your you just lost your wind you know so that's what they're you know they, they basically they take your life force they take your energy and that's what leads you into the physical manifestation of uh having panic attacks what some people call psychic attacks itself you know so the 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 that the maw on that aspect you know but then the maw can be good as well they can be your ancestors coming to give you guidance and stuff like that you know through via through dreams and stuff like that you know but um that's what I have to say so far oh so so before I even conclude this so let's just make this straight Bawan La Kwa he runs with the Gede Bawan Samzi he runs with the maw Basically, just want to make that separation because, it, you know, you read all these places where they don't even have these things correct whatsoever. They mix all these things together and you, you're like, what the what the hell, you know? So, I definitely say this in voodoo, pagan leave. Keep that in mind because when I say pagan leave no voodoo means there's no books. So, what you're learning whatsoever is not going to be in books or what you're told is stuff that you're going to have to intuit, like, go into the spirit realm for. You know what I'm saying? Faut traverser dans Guinée pour joindre ça, pour joindre ça, pour joindre toute information qui va chercher. You know, so I mean, I interpret this in English. When you when you're doing this, you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to travel into the astral realm to learn these things. And I don't mean you're just playing around and try to visualize this and that. No, you're going to have to shut your mind down. You got to well, let's say you have to shut your body down and become an observer. You're going to have to leave this realm and go to the other side to find these things out because if you don't, you know, you're never going to, you know, you're never going to learn the truth. See, when you talk about learning from a Wunga or a Mombo, they're only telling you what they heard from other people. How do you know if it's true? The only way you can know if it's true is if you go to the other realm yourself and see it for yourself. So with that said, I conclude this video. Hopefully it was informative. Like and subscribe everyone and thank you for watching.